What's going on traders? It's Tyler here. Welcome to Penny Stock Warriors where you learn how to trade penny stocks, where you actually learn unlike other channels. We actually teach you how to trade, right? And what to look for. Not just fluff you up with information you can find anywhere, right? So let's get to it. Um, we can see that we did talk about this stock on the 9th of August. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Now we can see we are in the 15 minute chart. Like I was saying, what we wanted to watch for was a break above this level here at 53.70, right? And what happened, it did break above here. It pulled back. You're not gonna get a perfect pullback every time. You gotta be watching your level twos. You gotta be watching your confluence, right? You can't, it's not gonna be perfect every time, right? You gotta be watching for anything to happen, right? So like I said, that was gonna happen though is it broke above you can see it pulled back with this candle if we go in the lower time frames i'm sure you would see literally us pulling back let's go ahead and just look here's the five minute you can see it broke above right here it came back down it came right back down to this look at this it broke broke above came right back down retest and what did it do explosion right explosion right at market open so I mean this was just textbook perfect example personally I missed this trade I, I'll be totally honest with you I did not I wasn't watching this that day I must have been busy or something but as you can see this is the reason you watch for those you watch for the break of that top you watch for that retest when they re when buyers realize it's not going lower there's only one way to go. So let's go ahead and go back to the 15, 15 minute chart, not the 15 second chart. Okay, so this is the 15 minute chart. This stock is at 30.20 million share float. So it is optimum. Um, this is, we are gonna be talking about YRIV on the stock ticker, I forgot to say that, but now you know. I'm sure you already knew that. Let's go ahead and take a look here. In pre-market, we can see that it just exploded. Um, our after after hours yes, uh, yesterday, or on the ninth here. Let me see what day this is. Oh yeah, because it was the weekend, and um, you know today it just exploded up to dollar seventeen, pulled back to about ninety three cents, and then a market open, it found support at that ninety five cent area, and then just whipped back up to a dollar forty three. Looks like. Pulled back down all the way to 97 cents and then whipped back up and then after hours we went even higher to 150 so very volatile extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing um, definitely a crazy stock probably fun to trade but you got to be careful in this one for sure let's go ahead and talk about the technicals because I did not see any news or any fundamental reason why this stock would be shooting up so in, in my view it's all off technicals right there's no real fundamental reason now if there is one please comment below and let me know i really appreciate it I'm, so let's get into this let's draw our support and resistance we got our resistance up here at a dollar fifty we'll go ahead and put our support down here at about a dollar thirty zoom in a little bit we got our median here at about $1.40. And we can see we're sitting right about on the median here at after hours at $1.41. Now, what I'm gonna be watching for for tomorrow, which is gonna be absolutely crucial, I'm gonna be looking to go long on this stock, obviously, because it's going absolutely insane. What I wanna see is I wanna see us hold here. I wanna see us hold here at this median. I wanna see that bullish momentum return I'm gonna have my alert sitting at 150 so that way if we do break back up up here that will get me interested I'll be watching it next thing I want to see is I want to see a retest off this 150 right so tomorrow when I'm watching this stock I'm gonna have an alert that way when it goes off I'll know then I'll really be watching the chart I want to see a comeback even if it's very fast I want to see a retest off this zone so I know we're not going back down I want to see it stop, stabilize. I want to see bullish reversal candles, shooting stars, hammers, whatever the case may be. 
I'm watching level two, I'm watching all my confluence, all my confirmations are going good. Next thing I do, I have my alert here, or I have my order here. I set up my order, that way I'm ready to go. That way, when this momentum does return here, and these buyers start going crazy, and, the, and the, you know everybody gets energized, I don't miss that move, I get a good entry, and I ride it up to this next resistance up here at $1.65, sell three quarters of my position, hold one quarter, see what happens from there, right? Don't get greedy. So that's what I'll be looking for for tomorrow for the bullish play. $1.50 will be our absolutely crucial level for the bulls. Um, that's what I'll be looking for for tomorrow. And I know most people here aren't shorting. That's okay. But we still want to know what people who are shorting are looking for. I'm not going to be shorting the stock. I'm looking for the bullish play. Um, but for your education, let's go ahead and talk about it. What we want to see is obviously if we're shorting a break back below this 140, the median, we want to see a break below the moving average and the crucial level of $1.30. This will be the deciding factor, this $1.30 area. If it does not hold support here and break back up, if it does manage to um, retest this zone at one thirty and get rejected, that's when a lot of shorts are going to be watching and that's when a lot of people who are holding stock is going to be watching because they're going to get be getting nervous, right? So when that, when if it does get rejected here, you know, there's only sells going on, level two is looking red, then, you know, all your confluence is red, then you're definitely gonna be watching out because what I would do is I personally would have my order here right below that polar point, just like I do up here. So that way when that momentum returns, I'd ride it down to this next support, which is right here at this VWAP at about 116. Now, of course, um, I'd watch for the break below the VWAP and then a, another repeat of up here, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Definitely just watch out for this 130 level. That will be crucial for the bears. And then this uh, $1.50 level will be crucial for the bulls. Um, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell notification, that way you get a new notification every time I come up with a video. Share this with your friends on StockTwits, Facebook, Twitter. I really appreciate it. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day.